So as I'm sure you all know, Netflix has been working on an Avatar series which is releasing in only a few months, February 2024. Fans have had some very mixed feelings from the few images and scenes that we've had so far, with many fearing that the series will be a flop just like the Shyamalan movie all those years ago. Although we don't talk about that one, that one didn't actually happen. So if you're a youngster and don't know about that movie, please don't get too interested and go and look that up. Uh, you'll regret it and you'll start being scared of the Netflix adaptation like we all are. My name is Ong. But anyway, let's get into the news. To celebrate the winter solstice last week, Netflix released a few more images of some scenes within the series and it's definitely looking very interesting. First up we have a new picture of Aang, our first time seeing him in a full body shot revealing his boots, and in the background we get an interesting glimpse which might show us the first of the changes in the series. That being the changes from the animated going into Netflix live action. It appears that Aang is meditating on a rock beside a statue of Heibai, the spirit which spent thousands of years protecting the Earth Kingdom forest, usually taking the form of a panda bear. In the original series, Aang actually meditates on the head of this statue, and although some fans have commented that it may be the real physical Heibai, I think it looks more statue-like with its colour and the way Aang is meditating within the rocky terrain around him. If Netflix has changed this scene slightly, it'll be pretty interesting to see how the rest of the series deals with these changes. On that note, it's been revealed that Suki's mother will be in the series, which has a lot of mixed feelings about it from many people. Personally, I like it, and on one hand it could introduce a new dynamic to her story, but on the other, it also risks heavily undermining her as a character, since her being so young and leading the Kyoshi warriors all by herself was a very important part of being who she was. That was pretty much the core of her character. So in another image we get our first look at Jet and the Mechanist, both of these look absolutely fantastic. Notably, Jet doesn't have a straw, which sent a few fans crazy online, but Netflix has assured them that in the full series, their beloved straw boy will be properly equipped with his signature mouthpiece. So you don't have to worry about that. The background behind them doesn't seem to be familiar, it definitely isn't their forest based hideout that we see in the animated show, and it looks more like a town, so some have theorised that it's the Fire Nation town which the group plotted against in the original series. Maybe we'll see how the bombs actually got placed and how Jet actually did it without being caught. Now under the images shared by Netflix, somebody commented that they want to see a full trailer to which the official account replied with, one must remain patient. Seeing as the series releases in less than two months time, it's very likely that in the next couple of weeks we will receive the full trailer, probably revealing a lot more incredible scenes to get us hyped for the big release. I know I'm going to be binging all 8 episodes dropping on the 22nd, so let me know if you guys will be too. I think it's pretty controversial, some people think it's better for them all to drop at once and some people like week by week, just so there's time to theorise, speculate and come up with theories as to what's going to happen in the next episode. But tell me in the comments where your opinion is on that down below. What do you think of the new reveals? Do you think this show has some amazing potential or are you afraid that it will be just another bad memory like the Shyamalan movie which did not happen? Drop your thoughts in the comments down below, smash that like and subscribe button and check out the video on screen now for more amazing Avatar content. If you made it this far, drop a thank Mr. Tenzin in the comments down below, and also a thank Mr. Saka if you made it this far.